Hi, today I'll share some fun and important things you may not know about using colors in PowerPoint. Everyone knows how to fill a shape with color in PowerPoint. You select the shape, go to shape fill and fill it with any color. But do you know that not all colors are created equal in PowerPoint? Let me show you what I mean by that. Let us go to shape fill and you see that there are two sets of colors here. The one above are called theme colors and the one below are called standard colors. These two sets of colors behave very differently in PowerPoint. Now watch what happens to this color when I change the design theme of this slide. Let me go to design and let me select some of the design themes here. Remember this original color which is red. As I move through this, observe the change in color. Can you see the same box is now taking in the color of the theme that we are choosing. That is why these colors are called theme colors because they take on the color of the theme they are applied to. But the colors here are very different. Now let us apply one of the colors from the standard colors and see what happens. This is the blue color and this I chose from one of the standard colors. Now let me do the same thing by going to design and then let me move through the various design themes. Observe the color here. It is exactly the same color no matter which design theme I use. And this is a very important thing for you to note because it determines how you would use templates that you purchase from the market. Let me explain. This is one of the templates from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. Now see the change in energy as I change the colors of the diagram. This is the original one. This is with change in color and this is with another set of colors. Can you see the feel totally changes and certain colors are actually very vibrant and make the diagrams look very beautiful. But here is where the caution needs to be applied. I've seen certain PowerPoint templates that are sold in the market where they fill the shapes with colors in the wrong way. Let me show you how you can fill colors the wrong way, especially when you design templates. I told you that when the colors are filled from standard colors, they won't change even if you change the design theme. The same way, when you pick colors that are not part of the theme, you might not actually be able to change those colors. For example, let us go to Google and search for an energetic color palette. I liked these colors and therefore I'm going to fill my diagram with these colors. So let me use Windows Shift S to snip this area of the screen and then go back and then paste it over here and let me fill this with different colors. So let me go here shape fill and I'm going to choose eyedropper to fill this with this color and for this one I'm going to choose the same eyedropper and fill it with this. And for this one, let us choose the same way and fill it with this. Let me delete this. Now, this is the way the diagram looks. Let us assume that this is the design theme that I have applied for my original presentation. And I feel like using the diagram from one of the templates that is purchased, which has filled the colors the wrong way. Now, let me copy this diagram by pressing Ctrl C and come here and press Ctrl V. You can see that the colors used are exactly the same thing and they don't integrate with your design theme. Which means the rest of the diagrams in your presentation will look different and the one that you copied will look different and you need to now manually go and change the colors from this to the colors of this particular theme which are all shown here. Otherwise your presentation will look odd. That is the reason why you need to choose templates where the diagrams are filled with shapes from theme colors. Let me show you the difference it makes. Let me delete this. This is a template from our comprehensive all-in-one bundle. We only fill colors from the theme. Let me press Ctrl C and come back to the same design theme and press Ctrl V. Now look at the same diagram. It has seamlessly integrated into the design theme. That is because we used the theme colors. This diagram that you used from our template now seamlessly works with the other diagrams that you have created yourself and there is no extra work needed and that can save you a lot of time and frustration. So the first tip is whenever you purchase PowerPoint templates from the net from any provider it doesn't really matter make sure that the shapes in your diagrams 
are filled with colors the right way. Otherwise, you would spend a lot of time trying to change those colors. And God forbid, if they had used some gradients and they had done it the wrong way, then it is almost impossible to rework all those diagrams. Now, let me give you the second handy tip to make your diagrams instantly look better. Many people are not aware that there is something called preset gradient options available in PowerPoint. You may not readily find them because your normal tendency is you select all these shapes and then you right click, go to format object and then you go for gradient fill. And when you do that, the preset gradients that are available are all like this. Now to choose one of these preset gradient options and then make customization is a lot of pain. Now let me show you one very simple thing you can do to make your colors pop instantly. This is our original set. Let me choose this diagram. I'm selecting all the shapes. Let me go to shape fill. This is the gradient and this is available only in this option here, shape fill, which is available in the home tab. Go to gradient and you can use the options here and they instantly make your diagrams look better. Take a look at this. It is linear right. Compare this with this. Doesn't this look more eye-catching than this one? It has just taken us one single click to make this change. So that was my second tip. The third tip is, it is possible for you to color your icons available in PowerPoint and you can even fill them with gradients. Let me show you what I mean by that. Insert icons and let me pick any icon that is available here. Let me pick this one and say insert. And just to make it visible for you, I'm going to increase the color. Now, let me right click, go to format graphic and go to solid fill and let me change the color here. I go here and go to any of these options and I'm not able to make any change to this. Even if I go to standard colors or recent colors, I'm not able to make any change. So some of the presenters are under the assumption that it is not possible to change the color of these icons. But here is where the quirkiness of PowerPoint comes into play. This option here called shape fill will allow you to change the colors of the icon. When you go to shape fill, now as I move through these various theme colors, you can see that the color of the icon has changed. The same is the case with standard colors. I don't know why they made this way, but this is how things operate with PowerPoint. Now, what if I want to apply gradient to the same icon? Can I go to gradient here and can I use some of these options available here? No, it is not possible. Again, I don't know, some weird way PowerPoint operates in some of these things. So to add gradient fill to these SVG icons that come as part of PowerPoint, you need to right click and convert to shape or you can go to group and say ungroup. Then you say yes to this because now it is converted into a Microsoft Office drawing object. Then go back and group again. That is when you would be able to fill the gradient. Weird, but that's the way it works. Another interesting tip is, it is possible for you to apply gradients to text and lines too. Where most beginner presenters get confused is, they usually select the text and then go to the font color and look for the gradient fill option here and they don't find it and they feel that it is not possible to apply color gradients to the text elements. Again, this is one of the quirkiness of PowerPoint. You need to right click, go to format shape and then don't apply gradient fill here because that will only apply gradient fill to the background. So don't do that mistake. You need to go to text options and here you have the option to text fill and here you apply gradient fill. So like an experienced pilot, you need to know what buttons to press to make this plane fly. The same way you can apply gradients to lines as well. You select the line. When you go to shape outline, you don't really get the option to fill it with gradients. Don't lose your heart. You right click, go to format shape and you apply gradient line here. By default, you will see the fill and line. Normally, you would think that you need to go to gradient fill for fill. No, go to line and then apply gradient line and you make your change for the gradient stops colors and you'd be able to apply that very easily. You can also use different kind of uh, preset gradients and all of them will work. As I mentioned earlier, the kind of colors you use in your presentation convey different kinds of emotions. If you want to use the right colors to convey the right kind of emotions for your presentations, then you can watch this video that I made earlier called three ways to choose the right colors for your business presentations. 
In this, I discuss about some basic color psychology, so you choose colors the right way. And I also talk about how to choose the right colors in different ways. So this is a very useful resource for you. I will leave a link to this in the description box below the video. An interesting thing is, it is possible for you to change these theme colors to suit your requirement. That is, you can pick colors from your brand or website and have them available here as theme colors. So you can use these theme colors across all the Microsoft Office programs in just a click. So how do you build your own custom color palette? I show you how to do it in a step-by-step -step tutorial here in this video in presentation process. It is called Spice Up Your Brand, Create Your Own Color Palette in PowerPoint. I will leave a link to this video as well in the description box below the video. And if you really want to up your game in terms of choosing colors in a very professional way, then I've got help there as well. I've created another tutorial called Pro Design Tip, use AI to generate stunning color palettes for presentations. In this tutorial, I share a free AI tool that allows you to pick colors that complement your existing brand colors. It's a very interesting one. I will leave a link to this as well in the description box below. Finally, once you choose your colors carefully, you want to ensure that all the assets you add, like photos, also match your color theme, isn't it? Many presenters are not aware that it is possible to search photos with custom colors in pretty much any of the sites. First, let me go to Google. And when you search for, say, photos based on happiness, you get this kind of a result. And the predominant color here is yellow. Now, let us say your theme color is purple. You can go to Tools, go to Color, and choose the purple color and only the photos and graphics that have the purple color theme are brought to you by Google. Let us say you want to pick some stock photos from your favorite free sites like Pixabay or Pexels. You still have an option to choose photos based on the color of your choice. You can go to color and you can choose your purple color and say apply and only the stock photos with purple color theme will be shown to you. The same works with Pexels as well. You can go to enter hex code option. If you already have a hex code for a specific color of your brand, you can enter that. Or you can click on the drop down menu and choose your theme color. And in this case, this is the hex code, by the way. You would be able to get all the stock photos that have some element of purple in them or they are based on purple colored theme. So there is a lot you can do to make your presentations pop by using the right kind of colors. And as I mentioned, in our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, we have more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates where the shapes are all filled with theme colors. Therefore, they integrate seamlessly with your brand design. You can click on the link in the description box below to check more details about this product. I would recommend you to watch this video next if you are interested to improve your PowerPoint color selection. I will leave a link to this right on your screen. If you want to join our five day free email course called 25 creative PowerPoint ideas, you can click on the link here and join. It's a useful mini training that will definitely improve your presentations. So click join and I will see you inside.